This is Wave News at 6. I'm Myra Ansari. I'm John Ball. We have to begin with that big breaking news story in Laurel County tonight. Kentucky State Police say a body's been found near the scene of the I-75 shooting that injured five people. And right now, it's too soon to know if it's a suspected shooter, Joseph Couch, but we've recently learned there's a video circulating online that shows a couple of hikers making that discovery. Yeah, a fascinating twist in this story that's developing tonight. Ward Jallis joins us now with the update in a breaking news alert. Yeah, John Myra, we have seen this video and we will tell you it is very graphic in nature, so we won't be showing it to you in full, but I will show you some of this video and the moments leading up to this discovery of this body. What you're seeing on your screen right now is that video, and it comes from a live stream taken about two hours ago showing two hikers from the Hatfield and McCoy Museum wandering through the woods until they spot what appears to be vultures circling overhead. They approach the area where the vultures were at and find what appears to be a decomposed human body. From the video, it appears that a large portion of the upper half of the body was missing, and then shortly after the body is seen, the live stream ended. At this point, we do not know if it is this man on your screen, Joseph Couch. He is the suspected shooter in the I-75 shooting, the gunman in the September 7th I-75 shooting. Law enforcement remain on scene there right now, though, and a DNA sample is currently being rushed to the state medical examiner's office to confirm if it is couch or not. It is worth noting that this body was found in the woods near exit 49 on I-75. That is very close to where this shooting happened and how this seemingly decomposed body was overlooked by hundreds of law enforcement officers over the past 11 days, though we are not sure. But as soon as we get that update or an update on who this body belongs to, we will let you know. We also have a crew in Laurel County tonight and they will have the latest coming up tonight at 11. John Myra. All right. Thank you so much for that.